Hi there, and welcome back to another edition of Nothing Exceptional. This review is of Spider-Man Homecoming, starring Tom Holland, Michael Keaton, and Alyssa Milano. A couple of the names in this movie bother me with the casting. I get reboots now and then, and you have to make it to fit the big screen, so it's not the same movie over and over again. The problem I have is that Michael Keaton is kind of a pretty boy when he is cast as this ugly old man Tombs, also known as the Vulture. I look more like the Vulture than Michael Keaton does. Also, they retooled the Vulture's history altogether. He wasn't part of the scrap detail after the Avengers fought the aliens in, in New York City. In the comic books, he was an inventor that got screwed over by his partner, who then became a criminal. It was all his inventions to begin with that made him able to fly and gave him the extra strength and everything. There was never any part of the comic books where the Vulture became the Vulture to provide for his family. It was vengeance and greed. That was it. And I, I get it. You, you gotta make it believable to put the guy in the story. But it was pretty far off from the actual story. Let, let's be honest. Despite the performances, which were outstanding. The the second thing that bothers me is Alyssa Milano playing Peter Parker's Aunt May. Now, I've read a lot of comic books on this and to make sure that it was never done as a reboot or revamp on the story, I even double checked with a comic book store to make sure that it was not something I'd missed. It was strictly done for the movie. That's it. Aunt May was never a young, hot female. Not even close. Those were my main issues with this movie, but Michael Keaton's performance was outstanding. Tom Holland made me actually believe he was Spider-Man. And then you had the guest appearance of Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. It was it was an exciting movie. It was breathtaking on some level. And, and I don't like to say that about a lot of movies. But it was so much better than the Tobey Maguire's. And it was better than the other guy that played him. The effects were good. The story was still decent even though it didn't match the comic book storyline. And the acting... I mean, it was great to see Michael Keaton in another superhero flick. It was. But the most I can possibly give this movie, and I only go up to five stars, I'm going to go up to four on this because it was so much better. It, it was a relief to see a Spider-Man movie done like this. Until next time, don't be a dick.